Watercolor Galaxy with Miss Bowley. So here's what we're going to be learning about. So we're going to learn about mixing washes with watercolor paints. We're going to do a few watercolor techniques including wet on wet, lifting wet, wax resist, and splatter technique, um, which is optional. And we're also going to show our knowledge of sky science by making art. All right, we need some materials. So we're gonna need our watercolor paint set and a brush or brushes. We'll need some water. We'll need a white wax crayon or other light color wax crayon. Oil pastel works, but pencil crayon does not. Um, if you have white acrylic paint, that's awesome. That's an optional material. Watercolor paper is great, but you could use your visual journal if you don't have it and paper towel. So remember how I said we were going to demonstrate our knowledge of sky science? We're going to be drawing some constellations. Um, so here I have some pictures of Ursa Major, Orion, and Cassiopeia. I'm going to include um, sort of like a, a sheet, a reference sheet of different constellations that are visible all the time and also ones that are visible during the winter time. Um, so that you can draw one of those ones or you can do some research on your own and draw your uh, constellation of your choice. Alright, let's get started on our paintings. Alright, so here I'm just showing you my wax crayon. Um, I've kind of broken it to try to make it a little bit more pointy. Um, and as I mentioned before, the acrylic paint is an optional material. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw out our constellation. So we've decided on which one we're going to draw and we're going to draw it out by doing little dots and connecting those little dots by doing very light pressure lines. Um, the reason why we want them to be light pressure is because we want to go over them in wax crayon. I'm drawing Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. All right, once they're already drawn in, we're gonna take our wax crayon or our pastel uh, in a light color, and we're going to um, go over our drawing of our constellation. So the reason why we're doing this is so that it stays white when we paint our galaxy over top of it. So I'm going over it a couple times just to make sure that it's coated in the wax. Okay. Step three, we're gonna mix some washes. So what is a wash? Well, a wash is a little bit of water mixed with our watercolor paint. So I'm using this little plastic lid um, as a mixing palette. And I'm gonna put a little puddle of water on my palette. And then I'm going to dip into my paints and I'm gonna mix the paints with the water. Okay, so I'm going to test out what my wash looks like to see how dark it is on just a little scrap sheet of watercolor paper. Um, I like that for my kind of first layer. So I'm going to mix another one. I'm going to mix three washes. Um, my, I didn't wash my brush off very well, so it still has some blue on it. So I'm going to add some purple and, and kind of blue mixed together to make like a cool, a cool purple. Test that out, I like it. And I'm gonna make a purplish red. And I didn't like how, how light that was, so I added a little bit more paint. Oh, there we go. So I'm testing them out just to see um, what they'll look like. And once I am happy with the washes, I will paint them onto my paper. So I'm basically using a wet on wet technique, which means that I just paint Right now I'm just painting water, um, but I'm painting water to get my paper wet and then I'm adding my paint on top of the wet water and I'm going to add the other colors of washes on top of the blue wash while it's still wet. And what happens when I do that is the paint kind of mixes together and it creates this like very nice effect that really you can only get with watercolor paint. Um, also note that I'm doing, I'm moving my brush around in kind of like a swirly motion, um, making sort of, sort of um, either circles with it 
or, or um, squiggly lines with my brush um, in order to kind of just get a bunch of color down. And then I'm, I'm finding my, my paint is pooling along my edges, so I'm just taking a paper towel and lifting up the paint. You'll see me do lifting with the paper towel a little bit more later on. So now I'm just, I've mixed a, a little bit of a darker wash. I haven't let it dry, but you see I tested that wash over there. Um, I added a little bit of more kind of like a teal paint color in there. And I switched to a different brush. It's a bit of a more round brush. And again, I'm doing my brush in sort of little small circles. And I'm just layering to do a bit of darker areas. And I'm doing that with all three of the colors. So I've done it with the blue already. And now I'm doing the same process with purple. And again, I'm testing um, on that scrap paper to see is this dark enough or is this too dark? Um, is this too light? Because once I've put it down, if I've done it a bit too dark, you know, there's no going back really. Um, although you can use the paper towel as I just did to lift up. Um, anything that you don't um, anything that you don't like before it dries um, I've also noticed that my wax isn't really resisting the paint as well as I hope so every time that I paint over the waxed area and I notice that the paint is covering it up I just go with my paper towel and I pick that up so now I'm doing um, something similar adding a bit of more darker purple and um, I'm doing kind of like a tapping motion with my brush, like dabbing some paint on. So I'm happy with it, but I can't do anything else until I let it dry. So I'm just gonna come back when it's dry. Okay, as you can see, it's much lighter now that it's dry. Um, so what I will do now is pretty much repeat the same process that I just did. So I'm just gonna um, mix even more of a darker wash so I used very little water. My little puddle of water was tiny compared to my first wash. And I'm using a lot more paint. So there we go, that's a that dark, nice wash. And I'm gonna kind of use it, a lot of times when people paint galaxies with watercolor, they kind of have like darker areas around the outsides. Um, almost looking kind of like clouds are covering it. So here's what I'm doing. I'm putting a really dark wash on top to get some contrast. These galaxy paintings work best with contrast. And then I'm just dipping my brush into water and I'm doing that circular motion with my brush. I'm trying to blend the darker color of paint in with the background, the light background. So using water and doing the circular motion and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use paper towels and I'm going to lift just along the edge. So it kind of gives like this effect where it's a dark cloud in the middle and it's fading into the background. So as I mentioned, we're building up from light to dark and um, we're trying to blend the dark a little bit into the background, but not too much. It's a balance. All right, so I'm repeating that process with the purple and the red to make sure that I have a mixture. And now I've, I'm actually adding a little bit of black. Be very careful with the black. You don't want it to take over. It's a very strong color. Um, but I do want to add it in at some parts, especially maybe around the edges, just to kind of give that contrast. So I want to have really dark values and I also want to have very light values. It's more interesting to look at. All right, so I am happy with this. I, I don't think I need any more dark, so I'm just gonna let it dry. All right, so I'm using acrylic white paint. You can also use paint markers. If your um, watercolor set has a white paint, you can use that or you can just not do this step if you don't have any of those materials. So you don't wanna make a huge mess. So you'll wanna cover any area that you don't wanna get paint on with maybe some paper towel or some um, scrap paper or some newspaper or something like that. 
Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing my white acrylic paint with a little bit of water so that I'm able to soak up my brush and saturate my brush with the uh, watered down acrylic paint. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my brush over my painting. What we're not gonna do is pull it back and flick it downwards because that will make a mess. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hand on top of our brush and we're gonna tap, tap the brush downwards and that way it will make sure that the splatter only goes downwards onto our paper. Remember to cover up any areas that you don't want to get splatter on, including your table or your paint set. And you're just going to continue splattering until you have um, enough stars. There we go. I wanted to quickly talk one more about one more thing. Um, you'll see that I put my brushes in my cup often and I just leave them there as I'm doing the video. We don't want to do that. We, we're, it's okay if you're doing that just for your painting session, but you don't want to leave them like that for a long period of time. So make sure you wash them off and dry them when you're storing them. And there we go. My, my splatter did like a pretty long kind of splatter line there, but I think it looks kind of cool. All right. I am excited to see how your galaxies turn out. Have fun practicing with watercolors and thank you so much for watching.